everybody out there in YouTube land, Jake the One Man Band is back again. Welcome to another Hunger Games simulation! Alrighty, you guys, here it is, finally! Metal Gear Solid, the Solid Snake Saga, and the characters from it in a Hunger Games simulation. It's been a while since I announced I was going to do this, and now I'm finally getting around to do it. So let's dive right in! From District 1, we have Solid Snake and Otacon. Awesome pairing right there. From District 2, we have Liquid Snake and Revolver Ocelot. From District 3, we have Meryl and Colonel Campbell. From District 4, we have Raiden, Metal Gear Solid 2 Raiden, and Vamp. From District 5, we have Liquid Ocelot and Solidus Snake. From District 6, we have Psycho Mantis and Sniper Wolf. From District 7, we have Johnny uh, Sazaki. If you don't know who that is, I suggest you go look him up. He's probably one of the most underwell, one of the most low-brow characters in the series, but he's just kind of always been that joke character who actually got his um, got some screen time in the fourth game. And of course, he uh, his partner is Old Snake, also from the fourth game, from District. District 8, we have the Cyborg Ninjas, Gray Fox, and Raiden, the Cyborg Ninja version, aka the better version, the cool version. From District 9, we have Vulcan Raven and Fortune. From District District 10, we have Naomi Hunter and Mei Ling. From District 11, we have Big Mama, also known as Ava, just old version, and uh, Dribbin. And from District 12, since I couldn't really think of anyone else to put in there, we have Metal Gear Rex and Metal Gear Ray. Now, is it truly fair to put in two Metal Gears with a bunch of humans fighting? I don't really know, but Solid Snake has taken out a lot of Metal Gears in his life, so I think it's fair. Now, let's dive right in, shall we? Ah, who do I think is going to win? Who am I voting for? Well, I've never been good at choosing the victors in this game. So, of course, I'm going to go with uh, Cyborg Raiden, Old Snake, and uh, and Gray Fox. That, that's the three I'm going for. Put, all you, put who you think is going to win below. Let's see if you're lucky and if the odds are in your favor. Let's start this! Alrighty, the bloodbath begins. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Alrighty, Old Snake rips a mace out of Vamp's hands. That's right, state your dominance, Old Snake. Sniper Wolf takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. Dribbin grabs a jar of fishing bait while Liquid Ocelot is, gets fishing gear. Vulcan Raven and Otacon both run away from the cornucopia. Solidus Snake bashes... No! He bashes Cyborg Raiden's head in with a mace? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you didn't even make it past the cornucopia! Cyborg Ninja Raiden! Why? Damn you, Solidus Snake. You'll be the first to die. Looks like Psycho Mantis, Liquid Snake, Johnny, and, uh, all run away from the Cornucopia. Fortune stays at the Cornucopia for resources. Metal Gear Solid Rex finds a canteen full of water. You know, probably for, for you know, he needs to have that coolant in him, in the radiator to keep him going. Gray Fox snatches a pair of Psy. Very nice, he is a ninja, he can use those. Uh, Meryl. Runs away from the cornucopia. Naomi Hunter grabs a backpack and retreats. Mei Ling tries, uh, takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Revolver Ocelot runs into the cornucopia and hides. You better watch out, dude. Fortune is over there. She'll probably kill you. Solid Snake finds a canteen full of water. Big Mama grabs a sword. Uh, Colonel Roy Campbell grabs a jar of fishing bait while Raiden grabs fishing gear. And a lot of fishing gear here. There must be a lot of water in this arena or something. And Metal Gear Ray runs away from the cornucopia. Like a little baby, Metal Gear. Alrighty. Day one has begun. Naomi Hunter scares uh, Johnny away. 
Vulcan Raven receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Gray Fox severely injures Otacon and leaves him to die. But does that mean he actually dies? We don't know. Alrighty, Mei Ling and Metal Gear Rex work together for the day. I could just see a giant Metal Gear and like little Mei Ling. It's just like, let's work together! Okay! <laughs> Liquid Ocelot uh, receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Revolver Ocelot sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Metal Gear Solid Ray hunts for other tributes. Vamp searches for a water source. Driven tends to Solid Snake's wounds. Don't do it, Driven! He killed Ray Raiden Cyborg Ninja! Don't help Solid Snake. Psycho Mantis scares Raiden off? Yeah, yeah, he would! Psycho Mantis is scary! <laughs> And Solid Snake sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides to stay away. Old Snake tends to Merrill's wounds. Sniper Wolf receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Uh, Colonel Campbell runs away from Fortune. And Liquid Snake hunts for other tributes. He probably would, wouldn't he? Holy crap! Already! It, it's not even! It's not even! It's not even been one day, and it's already an arena event. This is the first time we've seen something like this. Wolf Mutts are let loose into the arena. Gray Fox pushes Mei Ling into a pack of Wolf Mutts. Good job, Gray Fox, sacrificing the... the mm, sacrificing someone to get away. I, I couldn't really think of anything that wouldn't sound come off sexist or racist, so I, I just should... I, I should shut up, shouldn't I? Let's move on! Uh, Metal Gear Rex pushes Colonel Roy Campbell into a pack of mutts. <laughs> Rex is probably just like, bam, and kicks him. A Metal Gear Ray knocks Meryl out and leaves her to the wolf mutts. Psycho Mantis survives. He was probably just like, I am Psycho Mantis. You will not attack me. And the wolf mutts are probably just like, oh, we gotta get out of here. He's freaking scary. Uh, Liquid Snake knocks Johnny out and leaves him to the wolf mutts. As Solid Snake and Raiden fight, a pack of wolf months show up and kill them both! S both Solid Snake and Raiden are dead! Dang, man! Big Mama survives. Naomi is eaten by uh, wolf months. Revolver Ocelot su survives. Vulcan Raven survives. Vamp knocks Fortune out and leaves her to the wolf months. S Old Snake is crushed by a pack of wolf months. No! Old it's not even the end of the first day and two of my tributes are already dead! Why? So the snake survives! Liquid Ocelot is crushed by a pack of wolf mutts, Draven is eaten by wolf mutts, and Sniper Wolf is eaten by wolf mutts. You were betrayed by your own kind, Sniper Wolf. That is sad. Fourteen! Fourteen people dead! Before day one is over! Cyborg Ninja Raiden, Otacon, I guess he did die from his wounds, Mei Ling, Roy Campbell, Meryl, Johnny, Solid Snake, Raiden, Naomi Hunter, Fortune, Old Snake, Liquid Ocelot, Draven, and Sniper Wolf, all freaking dead! Who, who was the other? Grey Wolf, he's the only person I'm rooting for now. That originally I was rooting for, okay. Please, please, Grey Wolf, stay alive! I want to win one for once! Night one. Liquid Snake destroys Solidus Snake's supplies while he is asleep. Vamp uh, thinks about winning. Metal Gear Rex kills Revolver Ocelot for his supplies. Even though you don't really need them, you're a robot. Remember that. Big Mama passes out from exhaustion. Vulcan Raven fends Psycho Mantis, uh, Metal Gear, Ray, and Gray Fox away with his fire. Fire from his freaking minigun, that is. It's, it's day two and they already have a feast? Dang, man, they want these games to go back quick. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Why would you even go? You don't need any of it. Metal Gear Rex decides not to go to the feast. Solidus Snake takes a staff. Uh... Uh, leaning against a cornucopia. Vamp decides not to go to the feast. Psycho Mantis also does not. A liquid sna snake falls into a pit and dies! That's what you get. 
uh, Vulcan Raven decides not to go, so does Gray Fox. Big Mama and Metal Gear Ray get into a fight over raw meat, but Big Mama gives up and runs away. Yeah, I would too. Metal Gear Ray's pretty freaking big. Alright, day two. Day two. Alrighty, let's go. Vamp shoots an arrow into Solid Snake's head. Haha, <laughs> and you don't have freaking nano machines to heal that, son. <clears throat> Vulcan Raven begs for Psycho Mantons to kill him. He refuses, keeping Vulcan Raven alive. Metal Gear Rex questions his sanity. He's probably also questioning his very existence in this world. Big Mama fishes. Gray Fox and Metal Gear Ray split up to search for resources. Another arena event! Oh my gosh! How? Why? They really want these people to die, don't they? <coughs> Alrighty, the area turns pitch black and nobody can see a thing. Vulcan Raven survives, Vamp survives, Psycho Mantis survives, Metal Gear Ray survives, Gray Fox uh, flails his weapon around, accidentally killing Big Mama, and Metal Gear Rex survives. So Big Mama's dead. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Revolver Ocelot, Liquid Snake, Solidus Snake, and Big Mama have all died. Revolver Ocelot, out of these four, you are the coolest character ever. I am sorry you had to die like this. Alrighty, night two. Metal Gear Rex, Psycho Mantis, Vulcan Raven, Gray Fox, and Vamp sleep in shifts, and Metal Gear Ray looks into the night sky. It's hilarious, it's like all villains that are left. Alrighty, day three. Metal Gear Rex kills Vamp with his own weapon! So he takes that knife that he keeps around his crotch area, and then Rex stabbed him with it. It's <laughs> like, so your nano machines aren't going to save you from this. Then he probably crushed him with his giant foot. Psycho Mantis practices his archery. Gray Fox explores the arena. Vulcan Raven makes a slingshot. Not as good as his minigun, but he has to make do. And Metal Gear Ray attempts to climb a tree, but falls to his death. He was, he's like, it was a big tree. <laughs> a poor Metal Gear Ray. He's dead. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Vamp and, and Metal Gear Solid Ray have both fallen in battle. Well, not so much in battle. I mean, Vamp, yes. Metal Gear Ray, he died, you know, very embarrassingly. But let's move on. Alrighty, night three has come. Metal Gear Rex lets Gray Fox into his shelter. Watch out, Gray Fox. He may crush you like he does in the first game. Psycho Mantis screams for help, and Vulcan Raven, Raven climbs a tree to rest. <laughs> Vulcan Raven, man! He is not Jamaican, he is Samoan, but that's okay! <laughs> what did you make a... Okay. Metal Gear Rex makes a slingshot. Gray Fox kills Vulcan Raven with his own weapon. So does that mean the minigun or the slingshot that he made earlier? <laughs> Alrighty, and Psycho Mantis constructs a shank. Shank! He's gonna shank all of you with his psychic powers. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Vulcan Raven has fallen in battle. Alrighty, night four has come. Gray Fox sees a fire, but stays hidden. Okay, this is probably the closest one of my tributes has ever got to winning. I hope I didn't just jinx it. Metal Gear Rex looks up into the night sky, and Psycho Mantis quietly hums. <laughs> because I, I have, you know, he has a gas mask. I was trying to do the gas mask voice, but I can't, so I'm sorry. Day 5. Metal Gear Rex diverts Gray Fox's attention and runs away. Psycho Mantis collects fruit from a tree. Hopefully it's not poisonous fruit! No cannon shots can be heard in the distance, because nobody died! That's what you get for killing off everyone in the first day! You get these, these later days that are just like, oh, nothing really happens. Psycho Mantis defeats Gray Fox in a fight, but spares his life. Oh, okay. That's okay. Metal Gear Rex stays awake all night. Day six comes. Gray Fox picks some flowers. He needs to con contemplate. I was defeated by Psycho Mantis. I must, I must get better. Maybe these flowers will give me, give me hope and advice. Strengthen my spirit. Psycho Mantis shoots a poisonous blow dart into Metal Gear Rex's neck, slowly killing him. It, 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 you see, by poisonous, he means a virus. 
So, you know, a computer virus got into Metal Gear Rex and he's just like, ah, I can't, can't compute, can't compute, and he dies. Alrighty, one cannon shot can be heard in the distance, for Metal Gear Rex has fallen in battle. You are always the coolest and most original of the Metal Gears, Rex. I love you. Alrighty, guys, it's down to two. Psycho Mantis, everyone's favorite, like, boss battle villain from the series. Well, most, most, you know, most of the time. And, of course, Gray Fox. Alrighty. Can Gray Fox hold out just a little bit longer and survive? Let's see. Proceed. Psycho Mantis strangles Gray Fox with a rope. No! This close! This freaking close! Dang it, that means the winner of this Hunger Games is Psycho Freaking Mantis! Well, I guess a lot of you probably would guess this because, you know, a lot of people love Psycho Mantis. But I never win! I want to win at least once! Alrighty, guys. Here we are, the placements. Man, that was probably the shortest of all the games that I have done so far. I mean, the last one, the Toho one, that, that, one, that video was like half an hour long. This one's like half that. And <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, so Psychomantis won. He joins a Pantheon of victors. And, um, alrighty, this is going to end this Hunger Games simulation. If you guys have any suggestions for Hunger Games simulations, leave them down in the comments below, because you never know what, what I'm going to do next. It could be something that I think of, or it could be something that you guys have been wanting for a long time. Maybe that will come up, but who knows? You'll just have to wait and see. So, like and favor if you've enjoyed, subscribe, of course, if you feel inclined to. Be a good person, tip your white juices, keep moving forward. I'll see you next time. I'm out there in YouTube land. I'll see you then. Yeah, y'all!